Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Krista here doing a weekly reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is for the week of December 5th through to the 12th, with the full moon moving through Gemini, the weekend of your readings. I'm going to be doing the theme of what you need to pay attention to this week. So this is a general reading for your sign. Whatever is most prominent in your life this week, I encourage you to take these messages and apply them to and I hope that you find them helpful and healing. So what does Pisces need to pay attention to this week? For anyone who doesn't like the shuffling or doesn't have time, just check out the scroll bar below and skip ahead to when the reading begins, when the cards are laid. But if you do have time or enjoy the shuffling, stick around. We're just looking for two more jumpers. What a nice week ahead. It looks like this isn't going to really be surprising to you in terms of what you uh, want or even need to pay attention to Pisces and I wouldn't be surprised if you were looking at this and saying oh, okay well I just needed confirmation for this or I just needed some uh, direction here and then what's going to be shown here isn't going to be too surprising for you just because I think it's something that you've been holding out on in your own life with your own sense of accomplishment and your own sense of um, fulfilling desires and so forth because we have celebration as your central card. This represents you this week. So what do you need to pay attention to the most this week? What is worthy of celebration as opposed to what isn't working? What fell apart? What was a mistake, etc. And then saying, I'm going to pour all that energy that I and thought uh, processes and time into that I could have spent on thinking how things weren't working out or uh, how things didn't go my way. And then uh, look instead at small miracles, blessings, uh, feeling as though things are moving at the right pace at the right time, that you just need to come to terms with how things are moving and that we can only have control over ourselves. We can't have control over processes and certainly not other people. It might even be worthy of celebration this week, the fact that you couldn't have control over someone else and now someone else has proven themselves to you, right? For better or for worse. And that's, they're, they're a free agent. Now you know you can trust them um, if they've deemed themselves worthy because you didn't have to cajole them or trick them or talk them into something. You just let them be and now they're trustworthy or now you can celebrate the fact that they've proven themselves not to be. That type of thing is that we're looking at a theme of celebration this week. Certainly, if things have been going um, in a really nice um, energetic manner for you in the recent past, you're going to want to take a moment to um, take time to celebrate that, right? Appreciation, even for small miracles or small victories, is actually really important in our lives, in our daily lives, in fact. Um, uh, you know, small victories and small celebrations actually help generate higher um, energy. Uh, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> the, the, the loving energy as opposed to the fear energy. And what that does is it creates a feeling and then we start getting used to these feelings, right? And now you have something to look forward to because you know how it feels. And then you know what to avoid because it doesn't feel as good as what the blessings and the celebration feel like. So take some time to Consider what is worthy of celebration and to celebrate that and yourself this week, Pisces. Divine timing is literally pointing right at this, at a celebration. I mean, this could be something as simple as a Christmas party, absolutely. It could be something that's already sort of generated um, outside of your control and you're just literally having a celebration. That's cool too. But take a moment here, even, even in that environment, to celebrate yourself and your own small victories here. Divine timing is basically saying that things, even though they felt like they were difficult or not going in the direction you wanted when you wanted them to, or as I mentioned a moment ago, that someone else wasn't doing what you wanted them to, 
or acting or reacting in a way that you thought was appropriate, um, that things are going to sort themselves out. You actually are not supposed to have control over someone else. Um, not only would it would create problems for that other person, uh, but it creates an enormous burden on the person who tries to control the other person. Um, it becomes its own kind of madness. So certainly uh, don't let anyone else do this to you as well. You know, you're not going to let someone else control you here, okay? Here with your guardian angel as your probable outcome card. This is really just looking, again, um, we're bouncing back and forth between issues of celebration and of grief, okay? So try to spend a little bit more time in a, in a phase of celebration this week. If you do find yourself in a moment of grief, perhaps you're dismissing someone who has passed this time of year particularly around Christmas, can be difficult for people. Sometimes you're just grieving over what you've lost, okay? But I'm telling you, Pisces, in terms of what you need to pay attention to, there is an element of letting go of the grief. It is important to grieve and to grieve in your own way in your right time, okay? But there also is life. There's still life, okay? Life goes on. And we can still remember things fondly or we can still um, grieve the past or our losses while living in the present, okay? It's really important to be in the present. Right now is truly all we have, literally, when it comes to time, when it comes to energy, and when it comes to fulfilling dreams and fantasies. So the less time spent in grief, the more time you can celebrate if you are uh, grieving, you can reach out to a guardian angel and this will help you at this time. Surrender and release is your general energy. This is where we're looking at all the cards under this energy this week. Truly 100%, can't even say it better than this card could. It's a beautiful week to spend on celebration, to surrender your need for control on outcomes and behaviors that aren't your own and to release all fear okay you're going to want to release fear because fear is such an incredibly low vibrational energy that it keeps us attached to things like grief it keeps us attached to things like pain and it keeps us attached to things like control um or <clears throat> it's a little bit of a misnomer that word control because there really isn't any there is the semblance there is a uh, an appearance there is a veneer of control nothing's actually under control ever <laughs> um, things are always going at their right pace at their right time because there's so much more going on than uh, you know elementally and spiritually and psychically um, and things beyond our knowledge at this time even perhaps you can intuit this okay <clears throat> that things are beyond our um, natural propensity at this time um, where we have to even know it exists in order to control it and then we can't, if we don't know it exists, how can we control it? So now this becomes this little bit of a hamster wheel of, you know, how do I control something I can't understand? How can I understand something I can't identify? How can I identify something if I can't <laughs> find it? <laughs> So um, if you find yourself in a little bit of a hamster wheel around that issue, especially around control, even if it's uh, the essence of control being projected into your life, okay, someone's tried to control you, trust your instincts right here, trust your gut, um, you know on a really deep level here, you know on a really deep level that if you were to sit still around this particular theme or issue this week. If you were to, say, spend time in celebration and affirmation and basically love, basically we're looking at energy, celebration versus grief, right? Celebration is love energy, grief is fear energy, grief is feeling that you've lost something. But really what you what, what's happening is that you have it. It's that you're uh, refusing on some level, like m most of us do, um, to identify it, to look at it. <clears throat> what do you have that's left, right? Even if, it even if it is grief, there is something to be gleaned from it. 
So it's a beautiful week to spend in celebration. Ask for help if you need it, particularly spiritually this week, Pisces, particularly on a heart level. Here's your final card. This is Otter. This is woman medicine. This is um, really having um, uh, some flirtatious, some coquette uh, feelings this week. You're not going to want to... Um, Use this in order to avoid this, though, okay? Really play a nice balancing act this week, if that's the case. Celebrate a new love, celebrate a new relationship, celebrate a new phase in a relationship, a new phase in your self-discovery. Find something to celebrate here, um, but create balance. And don't use this um, over somebody else. Don't use the coquette, the feminine wiles, the energy here against somebody else especially if you feel like you're going to lose them uh you know if i don't do this i'm going to lose somebody i'm going to control them with this don't do that this week pisces okay trust your intuition perhaps it's time to let go uh but i will recommend that what you do is pay attention 100 percent to yourself this week don't worry about another person what they want what they need what they anything okay unless you're unless you're taking care of literally taking care of someone else's needs like a child or a disabled person or an, an elderly elderly person uh, and that's your job or something you really want to pay attention to yourself this week go within surrender the need for control release all fear ask for help if you need it trust your intuition stop playing games or stop letting someone play games with you use this fem woman medicine to get back into touch with the women in your life for support this week um, unless this is a game that you want to play that's romantic or sensual with a willing and capable and available partner um, then you can play that but if there's any question around this this and if there is currently grief around this for any reason spend some time with your with your women friends with your females uh, because you can heal here and they'll have advice that you need this week. So Pisces, that is your reading for the week. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for being here with me today. If you have a second, comment below. I love hearing from you. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out as well as liking my videos. So until we meet in the next video, have an excellent week ahead. See you next time. Bye for now.